Okay, we've got the DEMA reflow furnace. Start with the left hand side. This is your main power cutoff. This is your on and off switch. Here's your emergency switch. And here's your operator interaction screen. Right now, I've got program number one. The ventilator is on which is the, basically the exhaust uh, inside. And the speed of the conveyor belt is set to 0.12 millimeters per minute. Um, as you can see on top, we've got the set point values. And then on the bottom of that, it's showing the actuals. The P button changes screens, goes into programming mode. At this point, we could change the program. Uh, by hitting plus or minus, go to program two, and as you can see, the values here have changed. Uh, and you can program uh, your own methods into there. There's about 15 that are loaded in here currently. You can change the speed and the ventilator on also. Everything to go from point to point, you can hit the arrow keys left and right, and it'll cycle you through the different zones. Each zone is settable and then bring you back to the program. When you've uh, finished doing the changes that you wanted to make, uh, for instance, I'll go here and I'll increase the speed. It will automatically increase it at, at the point you change it. It doesn't have to be saved. And then we'll go back and hit P and it'll go back to the screen we were at before. But you can see that the set point versus the actual the, had, the set point has changed. There are a couple of modes here which are set by the S key. Um, it's running right now and what it does when you start it up, it depends on what mode it was in. It'll either be in standby or it will be in uh, warming up mode. When you hit that key, you can see it goes into standby. At this point, it would begin to cool. Um, if you were, if it was cold, it would go into warming up. Once it reaches the uh, set points, it would then go into running mode. Um, it doesn't start and stop a timing or anything like that. It just, it just goes into running, and you can do whatever work you want. Um, the only other mode on here is M for measurements, and I'll show uh, connections over there. Uh, you could put in uh, your own thermocouples and run them through and it would give you a profile. Okay, go around the side here. Here is where you could enter your own thermocouples, have them plugged in to do that measurement mode. Uh, there's a connection on the, on the back here for the flow controller. This is if you wanted to add an inert gas uh, so that it's flowing as best as it can over the boards to keep uh, oxygen off there, um, you know, room atmosphere. So you can, this is completely settable uh, depending on the pressure input, you know, and what you dial. It has a, it's a pressure regulator and uh, that's been verified that it works. Your exhaust comes out here and the manual will show you exactly what you need if you need additional exhaust depending on what you're running. At the, uh, at the output here, uh, there's a um, bar in here for static and it will uh, really reduce static uh, on the boards. And then down here you also have a RS-232 connection if you wanted to export, da export data programs.